Today, the 13th of July, Holy Mother, the Church celebrates Blessed Carlos Manuel Rodrix Santiago. He was born in Rio in South America. And that's how he lived the life of his people, of the culture. But he was not that good a Catholic. Until one day, when he was at a very early age, at, at the age of six, a tragic incident changed his whole life. His house was burnt in a fire accident. And he had to shift to his grandmother, Alexandris, who taught him faith. And it was the same time when he received the Holy Eucharist. So a deep desire for Holy Eucharist along with the catechesis of his grandmother helped him to grow in his faith. And he was continuing his formal education until when he came to know that he was suffering from ulcerative cloitus, a condition which in today's language can be called as gastrointestinal disorder, because of which he was not able to continue his studies. But this did not stop him. He was working like a clerk in a firm, in a company, and he lived a normal life, but he did not leave his faith. Slowly, he started equipping himself with philosophy and other studies, and he started showing interest in the liturgy. And that's how, with so many priests, he was able to form associations through which they were able to keep faith they were able to keep the liturgical sense, liturgical spirit alive in the church. He formed the liturgical circle through which they used to publish articles, they used to publish uh, uh, books through which they used to inculcate in people a sense of love towards the liturgy. Pope Pius XII named him as the Apostle of Liturgy. So what does Blessed Carlos Rodriguez teach me today? He teaches me to have a special love for the liturgy, a special love for the Mass. Let me tell you, dear brethren, Mass is not any form of prayer. Mass is the prayer. It is the prayer in which we, along with the Son, offer ourselves to the Father, where we relive the sacrifice of the Son. Therefore, the liturgy is supposed to be kept. The sacredness of the Holy Mass is supposed to be kept. Once I really regret seeing this, a woman was playing Candy Crush in the Mass, in the church, not in the Mass, just before the Mass, when I was going to West, I saw a woman playing Candy Crush. And then one, on the other day, in a marriage function, I could see a woman do, doing a video call in the marriage Mass, not marriage function, in a marriage Mass, in the Holy Mass, matrimonial Mass. I could see a woman doing a video call in the church. They're not pointing out at things, just looking at the way liturgy is lived today. Blessed Carlos wouldn't have been happy with these things. He died in 1963, lived from 1918 to 1963. Just recently, 50 years ago, he died. If he would be seeing the things in which the ways in which liturgy is being abused, he would have really felt it bad. For he lived and died to teach people how to live liturgy. So let's pray that we may be people who live the liturgy, not only participate, but celebrate and enumerate, live the liturgy in our lives.
Amén.